Welcome back to another map tour here in Farming Simulator 22. Now, as most of you know, I typically don't do map tours here on my channel, but, uh, well, the reason is because there are so many other great channels out there that are doing an absolutely fantastic job with showcasing all of these maps that are coming out for FS22. But every once in a while, there is a map that catches my attention and I feel the need to jump in here and do a little map tour okay now I have just dropped into this map I have not moved at all this is where it starts you I don't know what to expect here we are in the cow pasture at the start this is our default spawn area now this is for all consoles or all platforms rather so consoles um pc everything so now let's take a little look see here the mod hub this is what it says this is galgenberg all right welcome to and i'm probably gonna butcher the crap out of some names here so just you know bear with me here welcome to kershin a district of the large district town of hingen danau on the edge of schwabish Alb. I, I definitely butchered the crap out of every single one of those names. I am so sorry. Uh, the map is based on the scenic depiction of the place with an original replica of a farm uh, of a main courtyard in the course of the streets. What awaits you on the map? One original replica of the largest farm on site, six more playable courtyards, one free place to build a farm, 100 fields, meadows, and forest areas where everyone gets their money's worth, various outlets such as a country store, uh, small production such as allotments or apple orchards, and this is something that caught my mind, all right? That, that, we'll get to that here in a just, uh, just a second, but there's also a small BGA, a horse farm, you can take water from the ponds and rivers, forest for the tree hoppers among you, are plentiful, uh, plentiful uh, ready for precision farming, and we wish you a lot of fun with the map. Now, this is by Jogi or Joggy. I'm so sorry if I'm mispronouncing that name. Uh, it is 443.04 megabytes to download, and as I mentioned earlier, it is for all platforms. Now, here is the thing there are about 20 or so mods that are required. For this map now you can get every single one of these in the mod hub when you go to download the map it will automatically start to download all of the required mods now this is something important to keep in mind here you need to be patient while this is downloading okay it takes a little bit of time give it some time just you know I sat here for maybe 15 minutes while everything downloaded I thought it was broken at first, so I cancelled it, tried it again, cancelled it, tried it again, and then I just sat here, just browsed around on Discord, scrolled through TikTok for a minute, watching questionable videos on TikTok that I... Anyways, we don't need to get into that. Alright, uh, so let's get... What we do need to get into, though is this map tour. So let's go ahead and get into this. I do not have my steering wheel or anything set up right now. I wasn't planning on jumping back into farm sim today, but I was having a little browse, a little peruse, a little frolic, if you will, through the mod hub and came across this beauty. So let's go ahead and get into this. We are what? Freaking five minutes into this and I still haven't done anything. All right, so that we covered all the garbage. All right, so I am in a uh, new farmer mode. You start out with $100,000 or whatever your currency is. Uh, you are in August. Beautiful sunshine. Uh, partly cloudy. I feel like a weatherman. And um, yeah, so you, st you, know, you start off at your 8 o'clock in the morning. So this is the inside of the cow barn. Uh, looks like a pretty modern setup here. Now, can you close? Doesn't look like you can close the doors. 
Uh, let's pull up the help menu here so we can... How to see if any triggers pop up. Okay, so it doesn't look like this. the door's open, none of the windows or nothing like that. You know, I, I always check stuff like this just because, you know, it's little things like that that add to the realism of a map. So it looks like these are going to be the doors that open. Maybe not. Just kidding. Ha 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 ha. I fooled you. Okay, uh, where... Oh, you know what? Maybe, maybe we just don't own the map. Maybe we just... Yeah, you know, hey. So, we start up here at the cow barn. And this is the land that we own. 76, 86, and 21. Uh... This is where we're at. Okay, so it's important to know when you drop in up here at this farm, or at this cow barn, you do not own it. Alright, you got 26 and 21 down here as well. So I guess this is a good time to take a little look-see at the uh, map here. We'll go to map overview. You got plenty of fields. Looks like you got some vehicles and stuff up here that are perhaps not yours. Okay. Alright. Uh, yeah, there's nothing there. So, you know what that looks like? That looks like road work. Roadblocks. We'll, we'll go check that out on the flyover. But anyways, uh, you can see he's got some forestry areas and whatnot. Plenty of fields, some smaller ones, and then you got some pretty good sized uh, fields and everything. Now, this, this reminds me a lot of the layout of, uh, um, uh, oh, what's, what's the, what's, what's the name? Uh, Calm's Den. And as well as like uh, Hoff Bergman. So, you know, I, I've noticed quite a few maps coming out with kind of similar layouts as Comsden. And I mean, can you blame them really? Like Comsden was such a fantastic map and I am waiting for Court Farms to drop. I'm super excited for that. But this map is gorgeous. I, uh, anyways, let's, <laughs> okay. It's important to note that you do not own where you spawn in. Uh, let's go ahead and zoom on into our house. Okay, so for console players, that might be a bit of a pain in the butt. Uh, but for PC players, all you have to do is get the player saver, you know, player position saver, and uh, you will be good to go. Now, I already, already, already can see that I'm going to like the layout of this farm. Uh, just because it is a bit of a tighter layout. So it looks like you start off with some voucher stuff. Which, I gotta be honest, I don't really use a lot. I, I've i used the voucher stuff in a contract once, I think, for on Elm Creek when the game like first came out or whatever. Uh, so you get a plow, you get a sprayer. I'm not gonna go into... Actually, you know what? Let's do that real quick. Let's go into your... Let's go into your owned stuff here so you got small tractors you got two vouchers that's the ones that we just looked at you have a harvester it's the t560 john deere uh you have a schaefer 2630 front loader you get one grain trailer uh you have the header 625x for the john deere the plow which is agro mars and you get the uh amazon what is this power harrow uh you get cedars a sprayer, which we just looked at. You get a slurry tanks, which this is actually a fairly decent little starting setup. I do love using this. Um, I, I would like to use it more. So, uh, you start off with a K-Brand mower. Uh, you get the Pottinger, uh, what is that, Tedder? Yep, Tedder. You have the Class Baler, which is the Uniwrap uh, Rolls. Right? Yeah, round bales. Round bales. Uh, I've actually started to work a lot with square bales here lately. And I enjoy it a little bit more. So, Joskins... Uh, this is... Yeah, okay. Yeah, just for water. Just a water tank, that's all it is. So you get your front loader bucket and some weights to go uh, with your tractors. It's kind of strange. You got John Deere stuff mixed in with Valtra and everything. I, I don't know. Maybe I don't I don't even know where this area is based on. 
but uh, you don't start with any leased items. This is new farmer mode. I don't know if I mentioned that earlier or not. Here's your slurry tank that uh, we just looked at. So, uh, it looks like you got a slurry pit of some sort. Liquid, no, liquid manure tank. Okay. And you got some fill points here. Maybe... Ooh, what is, what is this? What is this? Manure heap. Okay. So, maybe you got two different trigger points for manure? That's interesting. Activate smoke manure. Oh, get out of town. Get out of town. You have got to be... I love it. I love it. I freaking love it. So you could have, like, the added effect of, like, steam coming out of your piles of poo. Ah, oh, so much. So much goodness. So much goodness. Okay. I am getting super distracted. What do we have here? Looks like uh, maybe for milk or water, slurry, some sort. Okay, so now you can open this one. And there are a ton of trigger points in here. What is going on? Okay, so you can open the gate. So maybe it's kind of like you have to drive your little front loader in here to drop straw bales. That's what I'm assuming that it, I absolutely freaking love this map already, guys. And we're 12 minutes into this video, roughly. And we still haven't even finished. Looking at the main... ...farm area here. Oh my god. There, okay, so there's your water. You have water trigger there. Uh, looks like you got a water trigger over here. Uh, another fill point for straw, which it looks like, oops, that was the wrong button. There we go. Okay, so these bales are usable. Now, I'm kind of curious. Alright, so maybe that doesn't go there, but I do want to know what this over here is about. Let's throw that over there. Okay, you know what? I don't think this bale actually exists uh, because it's not giving me any kind of uh, information on it. So, that's interesting. Yeah, we'll just we'll, we'll worry about that later, okay? Uh, so it looks like you got some feed mixing going on and all kinds of stuff up here. And what is this? This is a mineral feed tank. And it looks like that's all you can get is mineral feed. And here, main cow shed, mineral feed storage, yep. Alright, and then what do we have here? This is the... Oh, there is so much going on here. I'm going to have to look at the map to really see what all of this stuff is. So let's actually, can we get up here? It doesn't look like it. All right. Well, we're not really doing a playthrough or nothing. So, all right. So taking a look here, all of these doors open, these gates and stuff inside of here open. This door opens. And all of that, so it looks like we are good there. And I'm just kind of, you know, looking around to see where all the opening and closing points are. Alright. Got another one there. Got another one there. And another one. Another one. Okay, does it look like you could do anything with that? And then you have your little items and whatnot. Very nice decorative stuff. Um, let's go ahead and move on over here. It looks like back here, you can open this little gate. Looks like you got another little area over here. And this right here... What is this? What is this for? Do you guys understand cow farms and barns and stuff? Because I don't. If you do, let me know what a pit like that would be for. I love little touches like this. I mean, come on. What is this? 
uh, more doors that work. Uh, you know what they say about more doors. But we won't say that here. Very nice. Okay, what is this? Highway 42. So this is, like it said in the thing, like it, it's apparently like designed after a real farm and stuff. What is this? Reveal blower. Uh, what? Cover blower. Oh, get out of here. Get out of here. That is such a cool little touch. Oh my god. Okay, alright. Let's... <laughs> let's move on here. Okay. What else do we have? I still want to know, like, what's over here. Does this do anything? No. No, it does not. Can I climb the stinking ladder? I want to know what's up there. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna go cheaty McCheaty pants here. And it looks like it's just decorative stuff. So okay, you can get in there if you just take the freaking stairs, you dum dum. You dummy, dummy McDummy. All right, uh, do these appear open? No, does not look like it. Okay, I am getting way too distracted on just the barn. Just the cow barn. That is such a cool little feature, though. I like it. Alright, uh, moving on. We got little decorative stuff. This is kind of a nice little touch. You could put, like, another silo of some sort right there. Or maybe, like, a, uh, a silage bunker. Might be kind of nice. Okay, uh, so let's take a little look-see here at the farm. Okay, saving simulator FS22. Let's go. All right. Okay, here we go. Uh, so this is the area that we own right here. Uh, so it's going to be the horse barn. All of this little silos and stuff right through here. All this central area and this little courtyard looking place over here. All right, uh, so let's pull up the little mini map here. And just so we can kind of see, it looks like you got a little silage bunker there. This is the cow area. Uh, looks like this is going to be your horse barns. Horse stable. Or no, this is just vehicle storage. Looks like lots of vehicle storage. That's always a good thing. Doesn't make sense to have doors there, but nothing there. But uh, sure, what do I know? Um, what is this? Is this a manure pit? Did I walk by this? Oh, silage bunker. Okay, duh. I think I did just point that out. Anyways, so I'm trying to go with a no-cut method here on this video, and I'm just kind of blabbing along as I see things. Um, let's see. Let's go over here. Let's check out these barns, okay? Because I think I got a little bit too distracted by... The cow barn. Okay, there is your water tank. Here is... Okay, what what does this little trigger do? Activate trigger. Okay. Okay. And then you click it to hide it. And then you close the gate. Come on, guys. This is... This is... I love it. He's candy. Uh, here's your fill point, and got some of your equipment in here. Looks like your grass and bale work. Let's go ahead and open up this door as well. I love how those doors collapse into a little area. What is this? What is this? Okay, wardrobe. Wardrobe. Very nice. What do we have up here? Anything? Anything at all? No. But you can get up here and look at the inside of your grain wagon if you wanted to do that. Uh, looks like a little doggy dog house in a doggy dog world. He was a blue and dog. 
Anyways, um, what do we have in here? Do these are these doors? These are doors. So you have another workshop area right here. So it looks like you could park something right here, but. Looks like you can maybe pull something up on here to simulate that you're crawling up underneath it to work on it. What do we have over here? Sleep trigger. Does this open? No, I am actually kind of surprised that the house does not open and you can, you know, go in and whatnot. Garage doesn't work. The scale looks a little bit off, not gonna lie. Uh, looks like we have chickens over here. Very nice. This map, I am just in look. Can I start the fire? Please tell me that. Oh, no. No. Map creator, if you ever happen to see this, please, in an update, make it to where we can start a fire. Anyways, chickens. Okay, alright. Um, what is this? Did I miss this? Guys, if I miss anything, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm just, like, completely... ...in shock here, as what is this? Manage production point. Butter production and cheese production. Get... ...out. Get out, is what I'm gonna tell you right now. Uh, so the, it looks like, uh, maybe, I'm kind of curious to see if the interactive, oh god, we're closing ourselves up in here. Kind of curious to see if the, uh, interactive production stuff works with this, which I'm assuming it would because, I mean, there is a way to, like, when you open this door, the trigger comes up right here. So you can bulk dump into here, but the interactive... Uh, productions or whatever would be kind of cool to use so that'll be interesting to test to see if that actually works and looks like that is gonna be it and don't mind that just a little bit of clippage and uh, we have a what does that do what does that do Uh, activate. Uh, oh wait, did that raise this up and lower that? Okay, yes, 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 yes. So you can hide the triggers without having to, like, go into the menu every time to hide the triggers. That's kind of cool. That is kind of cool. So, okay, okay, it looks like you can't open the door and go into the greenhouse. I do like this greenhouse, though. That is absolutely gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Yeah, little details on it. I like it. I like it a lot. Alright, so it looks like that is it for that. And over here, what do we have? We have... Looks like some more uh, silage bunkers. Which is always nice to have. Some extra silage bunkers. And, uh... Yeah, so that looks like the entire farm. Except for out here. What do we have out here? This is probably going to be our... Uh, combine. Well, there's the combine itself. Now, let's go take a look at the map here, because I thought we didn't own this area. We do not. But to buy that little section right there, it would be 3500 bucks. That's very interesting. So, you can buy the perimeters, which is always a nice thing for 11 million dull hairs. Um, yeah, I mean, the, the, the field prices and stuff don't seem, like, super duper bad. Yeah, so, alright, uh, fields and things and stuff. Now, here is what I am gonna do. It would take absolutely forever to drive around this place, and we are already 25 minutes into this map tour. And all I've done is look at little things, 
Uh, HUD visibility, flight. All right, here we go. We'll get a good little look-see, bird's eye view. And why is it gotta be a bird's eye view? Why can't it be like a, a butterfly's eye view? So here's your farm layout. I really do like the layout of the farm. Everything is just kind of tight and everything in here. Now this little field right here. Is this? What is this? So you don't actually own this field. You'd have to buy this field area. But I would actually buy that field area and extend my buildings. And just completely fill in that little area. Now I don't know where the orchards and allotments are. There is a cemetery. That's always cool. Some funky shaped fields. Not gonna say what that looks like. What is this? What do we have up here? Uh, don't know how to pronounce pronounce that. Bernie S C uh, S C S or is that S G S S C S? Uh, Zeter six two forty five. Micah 3615, Botting Walt Team, Patty 22 to 23. So I guess just like a kind of like, hey, this is the team that kind of made this happen. Which is always nice to see little, little nods like that to uh, people that have worked so hard on making great maps like this. Like this is just absolutely gorgeous, absolutely stunning. And not only is it gorgeous and stunning, it is... It is detailed very nice. Hey, look, I can see the map edge. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's not a bad thing. The trees are, are nice. Now, check this out. This is what I was looking at. Oh, God. Uh, on der Bar Uf in Feld ish des Fier uns is the. I, I am so sorry. I'm butchering all of this. I don't know what any of this says, but I do like how this is kind of set up, where it's like, it's using tractors and stuff to block the uh, ends of the roads. It looks like you got some little courts and whatnot over here, very cool soccer fields, or football. Sorry. <laughs> uh, grass field up here as well, looks like tennis courts over here. Oh, no football so it's uh it's like a little contract thing that's cool you can come in plant grass and you have to take care of the grass and cut it and all that stuff very nice this could be a very cool little role play map as well i do like it i do like it a lot like it a lot there's a lot going on over here and it looks like there's actually some oh there's a grass cell point <coughs> Looks like maybe that is a volleyball court or a tennis court. One of the two. So, yeah, I mean, I could just look around this map all day long. And I do love little touches like power poles and stuff in the fields. It's always nice. Um, so let, let's, let's take flight a little bit more. Looks like you got another football field over here. Um, maybe a restaurant and sell points. I don't know. I'm not going to really go through everything on the map because that would take absolutely forever. See, like little stuff like this, little construction sites in maps just makes all the difference with, um, with detail and everything. I, I do enjoy that very, very much. What is this over here? Some kind of a hay straw thing looks like it i don't know if you can do anything with that but uh there is so much going on with this map you guys i could spend absolutely forever going through everything here uh, my suggestion would be for you to download it and get in here and check it out it looks absolutely incredible very well detailed and it makes me really want to play on this map i'm not gonna lie uh, now, of course, we do have UMRV going and all of that, so maybe 
maybe I might do this on some live streams. Which, by the way, live streams have moved over to Twitch. I have moved my live streams on over to Twitch. Uh, and that is because, well, I, look, okay, I know I did a, uh, a poll asking what you guys prefer as far as live streams, but the analytics and statistics I just streamed over the weekend and compared everything to live streams over here on the old tuber and Twitch performed. Twitch definitely performed. So I I I think all of the live streams for the most part will be primarily on Twitch. I will still do some stuff here on YouTube. <clears throat> Just, uh, just depends on, uh, what it is and whatnot. But yeah, I think, uh, I think we're at a good point here to, hold on, I think I just found the garden, the allotment garden. Yeah, okay, there it is. Like a little, the little open air outdoor greenhouses and stuff. There is probably a lot that I'm missing here. And I am so sorry to the map creator if you watch this and I didn't do it justice. I am just, like, I'm not usually a map tour channel. So, like, I, I this map just caught my attention, and I am, I am absolutely all for it. All for it. Oh, God. Okay, alright. We're gonna end this by attempting to stand on the steeple. On, on the on the steeple of the people let's let's see right there ah okay so th there's no clipping on this part that's sad to see but or th there is clipping there's no collision on that part but yeah this is a good place to end it with a little Oh, God. We definitely broke it. Definitely broke it. Anyways. It's going to be a good place to end it right here. Hopefully you enjoyed this map tour. Let me know what you think of the map down in the comments. And go show this modder some love uh, for all of the hard work that looks like there, there, there was put into this map. Uh, I may do some live streams of this over on Twitch. So links are, you know, in my about section and all of that stuff for Twitch. And, uh, or you could go twitch.tv forward slash your fault game. And, uh, until next time, I will see you later.